How's it going everyone? So today on Nathan's MRE we have a very special ration. This one's been awaited a little bit. Uh, my good friend Carson in Germany sent me this ration. This is from a company I've been doing a little research on today. I can't find much on them. So we're going to review this ration and we'll try to contact them afterwards and see what they have to say. See what I have to say about the review. If I can reach it, it's right here. And this one is the Pine Tree MRE. That's the name of the company. And it's just a small, like a civilian ration, camping ration, whatever have you. And on the front, I guess the contents are main course, FRH, snacks, sweets, and accessory bag. Then on the rear, I guess they have six menus the way it looks. And uh, this one is steak and vegetables. So it has some uh, flameless ration heater, tells about what it is, and heating options. And on the bottom here, it has a little. Uh, tag that says beef steak and vegetables then it has a stamp on the bottom of expiration of march 2021 it's actually got three stamps but i don't really see a, a production on it which depends on what kind of contents it is you should be able to tell we have a tear on top and this is a single meal by the way and it's a bag that's similar to Canadian IMPs to where it has the foil on the inside and like a, a paper on the outside. There we are. A little bit of a, a chocolatey smell coming out of the bag. We'll toss that to the side. So we have a racer bar. I'm not really sure. I've never heard of that before. And I'm not really sure if they're in the U.S. or where they're at. Um, I was trying to figure that out. I couldn't figure that out. It didn't say on their Facebook or anything. There's the write-up, the info for them. So take a look. And yeah, this has like a little courtesy thing here. It tells you what's an accessory pack. Uh, don't eat the water purification tabs with no water. We have, I like this already. They have a better ration heater to start out with. It's not just the same old, same old. And it just looks more like a a European ration heater, like a Lithuanian or something like that, and so does the main. Um, so yeah, uh, steak and vegetables. It's all in English though. There's the write up on it, 300 grams. And who actually makes this? So it's made in the UK. All right, but I don't see an actual company name anywhere on it. Um, we have production date, 8-3-18, possibly, and March 2021 on expiration. We have one of those cool little wooden spoons. I've gotten one of these before. I can't remember exactly what meal it was in. What are these? They're little, like, fruit or is that chocolate? It says fruit, forest fruit. But it looks like chocolate. It could be fig or something. Well, look at they're like little crackers, little cracker sandwiches, cracker sandwiches. We have tea and coffee whitener. We have a peach flavored drink. A pack of salted peanuts. We have an accessory pack here. Uh, some safety matches, a little brown tip. We have some coffee. The Papley, what is this? Is this coffee too or not? Brown sugar, no kidding. It's pretty awesome. We have some pepper, some salt. Well, I don't know. That's not very many napkins. If you have a, if she goes wrong, you gotta take a sock off or something. We have two packs of brown sugar. We have, looks to be a wet nap. Is it two wet naps? PG tips, what is this? It's a tea bag. We got some very interesting items in here. We have two water purification tabs. I'm liking it so far. We have two pieces of gum. It doesn't have a name brand on it. But should be interesting. Okay, let's uh, get her fixed here. 
All right, now I was heating this thing up in the kettle. I totally forgot we had that ration heater, so we won't be using it. Gotta watch my blister, man. I got, I didn't tell you guys I got burned um, adding Freon in the car. And it wasn't by the Freon, it was the hose. I carried it in, I had a handful of stuff, and my finger was touching, probably not good to show you right before you eat, uh, was touching the, the metal fitting and was frozen. Didn't hurt, and I pulled my finger off of it. My finger was just like white. And then about 30 minutes later, a big blister raised up. That was like a week ago and it still looks nasty. The fact that I haven't been doing reviews the last few days because it looked nasty, but you know, the show's gotta go on, right? We'll go ahead and hack this baby open. This is the steak and vegetables. I'll tell you what, before we just do that, let me go ahead and let's get this going. 16 ounces. That's for a water bottle. Let's put the whole thing in there. It's close enough. Be a little rich, but we can handle it. Let that do its thing. And that was a peach flavored drink gluten-free and sugar-free, so that means it's gonna have Splendor or NutraSweet or something very strong in it. Which, I mean, that's okay. A lot of people like that kind of stuff. So next up, our PG Tips tea bag. It don't smell like much. We'll see. We'll see. Water's not quite boiling, but it's very close. We'll sit that back off to the side. Let's go ahead and bang out this coffee real quick. Let's play some stuff already. Coffee, we'll go ahead and check it first. Nice freeze dried coffee. Look at that. Looks real good. There we are. We'll get that a little stir with a nice wooden spoon. Don't want to get coffee all over it, but it's the way, it's the way she works. Give her a little stir, and we'll uh, wipe that off, maybe. There we are. All right, let's go ahead and cut this open so it don't splatter. The knife is wicked sharp. I mean, it don't look like much in the bag, they never do. It smells good, though. It smells really good. It has a very nice beef smell to it. We'll dump her all out here. And they claim two years. Now let me critique them a little bit. This pack, it'll probably last a lot longer in two years. Uh, even though the date doesn't say so, we all know more than likely it will. Um, What's going to fail before two years is going to be these nuts. Only because the kind of package they're in. And it's going to be this bar. This is going to bloom out real quick in that thin plastic. Now, what a lot of older USMREs did, they got stuff similar to this. And they put them in a thick uh, vacuum pack baggie inside. You know, like the MRE cookies are in that you tear open. And that saves those pieces. So... Um, Pine Tree MRE, I'm sure you're listening. That might be a good upgrade for you if you're going to continue to do this. And also these. These three, these three things need to be in their own separate bag inside the MRE. That will last a lot longer. Just my personal opinion of it. So, we have some big giant pieces. Let's get a buy a potato first. Look at that. Hmm. It's actually very good. It has quite a bit of beef in here. It has peas and carrots. Look at that. Now, what we're going to do here, it is a little on the mild side for my taste, which every MRE is. We'll pepper it a little bit. You guys are going to lose it when I do this. But whenever I fix roasts and stuff like that here, non-MRE roasts, I put brown sugar on it always. Look at that. It's like coarse grain brown sugar. 
No, uh, we won't put the whole thing. It might be a little much. And somewhere around here, throw in a little bit of salt. And we'll season this up real nice. Easy on the salt, though, because, uh, you know, too much of that is not going to be a good thing. So we have a little bit of sweetness to it now. I have a little pepper in it and a touch of salt. It's absolutely the way to eat that. Absolutely perfect. Man, it's really delicious too. I mean, there's no funky preservative taste to it at all. Whoop. And it's very natural tasting, which is very, very hard to find. My other reviewer friends that are watching this, this is a good one to review. It's a nice, simple ration to do. It's only a single meal. If you're just starting out, it will also be a good one to review too. They have several different menus. So at this point, you can still do one nobody else has. Very, very, very good meal so far, which the main is, you know, most of that. So this peace drink, I think it's going to be ultra nutri sweet, ultra artificial sweetener, but let's see. I tell you what, it's not bad. If you bought this in America, the aspartame would pretty much knock you out of your chair. This is nice and tart. It's not that sickening sweet that you get here. This is actually a very good drink. Slightly artificial, but not bad. It tastes like a, like a peach tang kind of drink. Very, very, very good. Give this a little jiggle here. So, what we're gonna jump into next here. I won't forget about our gum either. Let's go ahead and try these little, well, let's try the nuts out. Some good dessert after this here. I don't know what these, if these are raw or not. A lot of people that eat nuts don't like raw nuts. Some people do though. Uh, but most, most everybody wants the nuts at least salted or roasted. Looks like these are salted. And maybe a little bit roasted. Hmm. Tell you what. That's unlike any MRE penis I've ever had. They're salted nicely. It takes, tastes just like if you go to the store and buy planters salted peanuts and eat them. That's exactly what it tastes like. Very, very, very delicious. All right, that being said, scooch us back a little bit here. Our tea, we're gonna go ahead and put the rest of our brown sugar in our tea. Give her a little stir here. The tea bag needs to go here right shortly or it's gonna ruin it. It's a very, very, very mild tea. Very mild. It's not bitter, it's not offensive. It doesn't have the taste of like a black tea, but overall, that's a good tea. You could even make iced tea or cold tea from that, and that would be great too. You have some brown sugar, you put more brown sugar in it if you like. Put whatever you want in it. That being said, let's jump into this dessert. I'm very curious to see what these are. There's raisins inside there. You see that? It's like a sweet biscuit with raisins inside of it. It's very semi-sweet. I'll tell you what, that's unlike anything I've ever had. I look for that a lot here, 
semi-sweet snacks that aren't going to kill you, and you can't really buy it. I would definitely buy that. That is no doubt a very good snack. This racer bar, I'm a little worried about it. It feels like it's been melted or re-hardened. But, oh, it's not bloomed at all, though. Which, when Carson sent this over from Germany, I'm sure they didn't do any favors in shipping. But it seems to have made it through pretty good. Basically, just a Snickers bar. Nice milk chocolate. Some peanuts, some caramel in it. Caramel, whatever you want to say. Man. Look at the foam on top of that bad boy. It actually looks real, real decent. That is ever so slightly acidic, but still mild. And this definitely needs a package of that in there. I'll go ahead and mix her all up. We'll blast the whitener to it. And we'll give her a mix. Taste it one more time. And then really, I mean, other than that, the creamer is not want to mix too good. <laughs> I don't want to mix too good at all. The coffee is hot, but it's not like raging hot. And I think it's just below that threshold to where it doesn't want to mix up correctly. Let's take another sip like that. We'll have to heat that back up to get it reconstituted. Yeah, that brown sugar took off 100% of the acidicness to that. And it's turned it very mild. All right, let's try this gum and we're done. Look at that guy. Gum has a nice, it's not a harsh and it's not mild. It's like a medium peppermint flavor to it. All right. Overall, this is a 10 out of 10. This is a great meal. I have no idea how much they cost. I couldn't find that on the website easily. We'll see. What am I going to do? Another one of these. We'll get a hold of Pine Tree MRE. Check them out. I want to thank Carson one more time for sending this over to us. What a great meal to take a look at. That's it, guys. Before you leave, don't forget that subscribe button, hit that bell button, like, share, all that good stuff. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you later. Thank you.